All right, when you think of wineries and vineyards, you're probably thinking Napa, but maybe you should be thinking Detroit. We heard about Detroit Vineyards, a wine bar out of the old Stroh's ice cream factory on the city's east side. The grapes are grown in the Morningside community, and they're looking to expand. I caught up with Thomas Roberts, community affairs coordinator at Detroit Vineyards, and yes, had a glass after we taped the show, of course. This is Detroit at its finest. This is the old Stroh's ice cream factory, so they embody four things that we body food, family, friends, and fun. Mm -hmm. So that was the whole goal of this building and space was actually just to have people come and enjoy this marvelous history. This is like a walk-in museum. It's a very, very cool space. But you know, <laughs> when you think about Detroit, you don't think of vineyards. I mean, that's right. like some people are like, wait a minute. Right. So you guys are actually growing. We are city. actually growing grapes in the city. But the cool thing about it is, it's just like everything else. Life just goes full circle because in 1702, Antoine D. Cadillac planted the first vineyard in the city of Detroit. So we just reinvent the wheel just now. Keep just going. Going. <laughs> this is going back full circle. So um, we have one of the largest urban vineyards in the city right now. Um, it's located in the Morningside community. And um, I really take pride in this project because I'm a lifelong Detroiter, born and raised um, northwest side of Detroit. Um, and I think this is something that's so passionate because everybody talk about downtown or midtown or you know Eastern Market area, but what about the people that actually live in the city like I do? So um, when we started the community affair program, I came up with four pillars, the four base pillars to base the whole program. Number one is we want to eradicate blight land in the city. Mm -hmm. We got like 80,000 square foot of vacant land in the city. We want to use this space and make it an oasis green space. Number two is we want to teach lifelong skill sets. So we're not just setting up vineyards in your neighborhood. We're talking to, we're going to community meetings. We're going door to door. We meet block club presidents. Number three is we want to raise property value. When you see a beautiful vineyard in a, in a neighborhood, you're like, just like, wow, we yeah. get so much good feedback. It's totally different than what you expect to see. <laughs> it's totally out the norm. Yeah. And then you get this magical place where you can go. We want people to go read books, um, get married. Um, we have one of, they want to do Pilates in the, they want a vineyard and we want to make it like Pilates and, you know, and book clubs. So that's what we wanted. We want, we want to get the community engaged. And the number fourth and final and the best rule uh, principle is yeah. that we want to put additional income in residents' pockets. So we want to encourage people that that side lot next to you, go out and purchase that land. We will show you how to set up a trellising system and we will actually buy the grape from you at a premium. You can come into the um, tasting room and you can say, wow, I'm actually drinking Detroit wine that I grew my, on my lot, you know? We gotta talk about the wine though. What is, uh, <laughs> what, is your, what is your favorite? What should we be looking for? So we have so many wines, um, so many great products that we do. I gotta talk about our meads because we are actually the only meadery in the city of Detroit right now. We use all local honey. Mm -hmm. They come from our beehives that we do have. We have an apiary located in the back area of this. And I'm the beekeeper. And the cool thing about this place is that everything is produced, bottled, in-house. Mm -hmm. So you can watch everything, witness it right inside this building. And that just goes back to Strolls again, where this was a facility where they made ice cream, they made beer here. So we just kind of reinvented the tradition here.